What is up my awesome subscribers? Today we're gonna review There's a thing I don't know if you can see it. We're actually reviewing Dumb and Dumber with the famous actors of Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. So here it is. Here's the movie. Again, we're doing it on my PS3 system because my Xbox One is such a you know what. Pain. <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually reviewing a movie with Jim Carrey in it. Jim Carrey plays a dim-witted dope name. Lloyd and his best buddy. He plays an utter idiot. And Harry. Harry and his job is to take care of good dogs. Yeah, but there's a slight problem. See, she left her case. The two villains are actually part of this movie. What's the case? And here's my favorite part, which they show in the trailer in the film. Which I find the scene hilarious. <laughs> In the trailer, he went on his face. So they changed that. Anyhow, this movie... He is... Downright hilarious to watch with these two idiots live in a uh, wrecked up apartment. A bunch of thugs like these two. I want to. Or work for a boss. Which will. We see until later on in the film. And this is the second time I'm reviewing a movie with a bit of swearing in it. Because this movie is from the 90s. And I'm already having a feeling, again, YouTube is going to probably you know, give me an M rating again when I'm done reviewing this movie. I'll just cut to the chase. Her job is to bring the case to her all the way to California. So they had to take her dog car and they left a note. They checked their apartment. They leave a note. And this scene is also funny. You put these two morons give with the big Redneck attempt when he pro her at him.
I guess we'll have to keep spits on it. Pretty gross. And he has an idea. Which they don't, and it makes them angry. Also, this seems also funny because a guy took a leak in the bottle well, because he drank too much. And the uh, booze. Also, just cuts a chains. He thinks he drinks beer, but. <clears throat> Yorin. He also cut back to her, with her friends. You know, just talking to each other, having a time of time. You know, just talking about the usual business. You know, those sorts of things that always are, had those a bit of arguments about their lives. You know. Anyhow, we cut to a, a scene of him sleep, have a dream of her visiting her, and him having fun. Also this scene. <laughs> and him finding a waiter and doing his crazy stuff like he does in most movies. And find the chef. <laughs> Anyways, he defeats him by pulling his heart out. Just like Mortal Kombat style, baby. Anyways, just when they were about to make out, he these traffic lights that woke them up, almost made them crash. They stop at the hotel, so to chill out from all the drive-in. While the bad guy gets an answer to his boss was about the briefcase. While the guy is trying to answer a phone, too. Gotta hurt. Now to find out what's inside the case, they stumble upon him and they stop at. Dane's restaurant to handle the pepper challenge. Yep, he was gonna poison them. Also, those guys put peppers in his burger just for a joke. Believe we're not, it's also hilarious. It's in the heat. Doesn't feel that good.
Okay, so he doesn't know what he's doing. What he gave him is not pills. It's actually... I the poison stuff that you want to kill them with. Yep, they just witnessed a murder. like that. They're witnesses. Also, we get introduced by yeah. this lady, our lady, uh -huh. who's also a part of this movie for some reason. Besides, we got like 50 minutes left of this film. Realize he's in the wrong place. There's the same redneck guy again. And he's a bit of a clot. Also, he tries to write the sick her cigarette and he drops the line on his foot. We'll just cut to the chase too. He catches on fire but luckily he saves him just in time. When his foot was on fire and put it out with the toilet. The officers are still chasing after them. And when they He takes the long direction and they end up in Denver. And they also find a little more psycho. And they finally make it there at last at most likely Denver. And they're pretty much homeless. <laughs> he was about to throw it out in the river until they see it open and it's full of money. So they're rich. Now they can finally relax in the whole town instead of the streets. They bought almost everything they can ever own. They have a great time there. Watching movies. Using money as their tissues since they're idiots. They have manicures. They even right to their toenails. The faces. And jump. The, like it look like he count them by the throat. Have a wonderful time. You know, I said it twice. Best time of their lives. Having a party, too. <laughs> Also, let me pause this, because I'll do this in the second part. So, blah, 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 leave a like, subscribe, 
Need more views, I'll catch you in the next part, right about now.